Alright, welcome back everybody. Uh, so right now, in our current situation, we are holding short of runway 36 right on uh, taxiway Bravo 10. We're going to go ahead and switch to our tower frequency, it was 124.3. So now, uh, we're going to go ahead and talk to tower and get our takeoff clearance. Orlando Tower, Frontier Flight 341, ready for IFR departure, runway 36 right. Frontier Flight 341, clear for takeoff, runway 36 right. Alright, so we are clear for takeoff. Uh, we're going to go ahead and acknowledge that. Clear for takeoff, runway and get that right. out of the way. So, pretty much, uh, we're going to look both ways. Make sure there are no planes coming either direction. Uh, because they will say, if there is one, they will say hold position. And uh, yeah, so we don't want to don't want to crash into any planes today. Kind of kind of like my job as a pilot, you know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line up here, make the final turn. Now here's where you want to be really precise in getting on this center line. Uh, because you won't be perfectly lined up, and plus the engines will uh, have a tendency to pull to one side or the other, and it's very easy to uh, get out of control on the runway, and it's not something that you want while you're taking off. So, runway is confirmed, 36 right. Come forward just a little bit more. So, we can get a good line up here. You see how we're still a little off. So I think that should be good. Go ahead and throttle up. Now, like I said, we do want to keep it under 250 knots. Um, so after we get in the air, we'll go ahead and after we put the gear up, we will uh, go ahead and initiate the autopilot to the 250 knot limit, and then they will give us directions from there. So here we go. Oh, sorry. First thing is first, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. All right. So now that everybody knows there's no smoking on this flight, and to return to their seats, uh, to fasten their seatbelts, we are ready to go. So flaps are set to five. We're gonna go ahead and do half throttle first. Like I said, we want to try to keep ourselves aligned with the center line as much as possible. This makes it a little bit easier to, to control. Looks like right about there is perfect. And now, airspeed is looking alive. We can go ahead and full throttle. Alright, 80 knots. One, rotate, V2, we're going to go ahead and go to a 20 degree angle, and we do have positive rate, so we will put our gear up and our flaps up as well. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the auto throttle, Contact speed, there we go, we are now going to Departure on 119.3. So we're going to go ahead and talk to departure. 
Orlando, departure, Frontier Flight 341, is at 2000, climbing 10000. Frontier Flight 341, Orlando, departure, Roger, altimeter 2992. Frontier Flight 341, turn left, heading 355, resume own navigation, climb and maintain 10000. Alright, so we'll turn left, turn heading left 355, three, three, five, resume own navigation, climb and maintain 10000. Frontier Flight 341, Heading select. Change that bank limit to 30 degrees. So pretty much from here, uh, we're climbing at a rate. We can go ahead and go 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet a uh, minute. 2,000 feet a second. Jeez. Um, <laughs> so pretty much, uh, we're going to be following whatever traffic control tells us to do. We are currently climbing through uh, 4,300 feet, roughly. Uh, and remember, we want to go all the way up to 10,000. So by the time we get up to about 9,000, 9,500, uh, air traffic control will give us another instruction, uh, whether to climb higher or contact uh, departure, another departure, or someone else along those lines. But once we get past 10,000 feet, we will be able to uh, crank this speed up just a little bit more. Uh, it won't take us very long to get to where we're going, like I said. Um, but just to just to get us there, you know. Uh, the flaps are up. All right. So we should be good on that. And now we're just waiting on further instruction from air traffic control. And see here, you can ask to go to a lower altitude or a uh, higher altitude, um, depending if there's any uh, bad weather or anything like that, which is uh, pretty much uh, in real life. Uh, they would ask, uh, due to weather, can we go higher or lower? And uh, usually your traffic control is pretty pretty cool with them letting them do that. Frontier flight 341, nope. contact, contact Orlando departure, departure. on 121.1. Two one point one for three four one. One two one point one for Frontier Flight three four one. Nah, almost verbatim. Right, so one two one point one, and now that we've got pretty much uh, the plane is pretty much flying itself, uh, we now have the opportunity to uh, Orlando, change these fr frequencies for ourselves. Three four one is at eight thousand, climbing one zero thousand. Frontier Flight 341, Orlando departure, Roger, altimeter 2992. Alright, so the altimeter uh, 2992 is right here. Uh, this is the measurement Frontier of Flight 341, contact Jacksonville Center. Center on 134.0. Alright, 134.0. Alright, 134 Going to 134.0. Frontier Flight 341. So switch that. And now we can contact yeah, Jacksonville Center. Frontier Flight 341. Uh, so pretty much. Gotcha. So this barometric pressure uh, is the amount of pressure in the atmosphere and in the air. So, uh, alright, so we got clearance to go up to, uh, full, uh, full, uh, well, yeah. 16,000, not flight level just yet. Um, flight level doesn't really come into play until uh, at least 18,000, but we can. Oops, sorry. Yes, I heard you. So uh, we can also go up. To, I'll go up to about 400. I'll go to 400 knots. So since we are above the 10,000 foot. Uh, threshold here. Uh, we're about 10,200 right now. So this uh, 250 knot rule under 10,000 no longer applies. So now we just sit back and relax and uh, the flight attendants will be coming around with refreshments momentarily. Uh, please feel free to purchase them if you so desire. Uh, 
yeah, so enjoy the flight. Let's go ahead and take a look at our GPS here. Alright, so it does have us going from the executive airport over to Barb's, which is the uh, intersection. Uh, shouldn't be too much longer. We have about three minutes, roughly, uh, until we get there. Um, so, it won't be too bad. And I have an overspeed warning. Just gonna drop that down to like three, say 325. So we are getting a uh, overspeed warning here over in the corner. So that's good actually. Um, so let's go ahead and keep it right there. Well below. So the good thing about these 737s is they show you uh, what your overspeed warning is and uh, your stall speed warning is so if we were down here it would show the red line like it is here except down here and that's uh, that's your danger zone you don't want to you don't want to go down there so we're uh, cruising at a lovely 325 knots at approximately uh, 11,400 feet and uh, on our way up to uh, to Jacksonville So everything in here looks fine. Um, yeah, uh, it's going pretty well so far. We are uh, we are good. So until they give us something else, we'll just sit here and see what they want us to do. So I'm actually going to uh, get us up there a little bit faster. We'll go ahead and go 2,500 feet a minute. So this seems like a pretty, pretty steady uh, climb there. So I believe we can also go up to like 350 on our speed. So there we go. All right. Now, if we were using our GPS and not air traffic control, uh, and we had a flight plan initiated into our GPS, we would be using the GPS switch here, uh, except we're using nav because we're using uh, navigational tools. Um, and we would hit this nav hold switch. Um, so pretty much that just locks it onto whatever the GPS is set to. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and set our auto brake to max, so when we land, it'll be uh, pretty
pretty pretty good braking. Uh, so let's see. We're almost there at 16,000 feet. They should be contacting us shortly because we uh, we did have our flight level set to 20,000 feet. Ah, here we go. Flight level two, zero, zero. All right, right up to flight level two flight zero zero. zero level so we're two, just going to increase that to two hundred or twenty thousand, not two hundred thousand. <laughs> so there we go. And let's go ahead and put our speed up to three seventy five, just because I want to get there, you know. So now we wait. So we just got a uh, instruction for air traffic control to descend to 10,000 feet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge that. Down to 300 degrees. down to 10,000 feet. And it looks like we got... I'm, I'm getting there. Shut up. Like I said, we've been given instructions to go to heading 300, and we're now we're contacting center. 134.4. Alright, whoops. <laughs> Cut you off there, dude, sorry. Alright, 134.4, Jacksonville Center. Hello. Frontier flight 341 is out of 13,800, port Frontier flight 341, Jacksonville, center, roger, altimeter, 299 uh, Also, we do need to reduce our speed since we will be at 10,000 again. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to... Let's go to 230. Yeah, 230. 
just to give us some some room here, since we will be descending. Uh, we want to try to stay as low as we can. Speed brakes. Uh, looks like we might have to. Which these speed brakes are right here. Which we don't want to use them too much because then it just kind of messes with your flight. Uh, you, you'll really start to feel it. Uh, that should be all right. So it's only at 22%, which isn't much at all, um, considering we're still at 11,500 feet, um, and we're at 300 knots. So we only need to get down to 250, which that won't be bad. Frontier flight 341, contact action zone approach at 118.175. 118.175. 118.175, Frontier flight 341. Gotcha. Jacksonville approach, Frontier Flight 341 is out of 1,000, 800, Fort 1,000. Frontier Flight 341, Jacksonville approach, Roger, altimeter, 2,900, 900, 2. All right. Frontier Flight 341, oh. 335, okay. 3, 3, We're going to go to 335 right now. Heading 335, all right. Perfect. So, uh, so now you can see we're right at 10,000 feet, and we just got to 240 knots. I was just there. Why didn't you just going to one three? Got it. did they give us here? Um, runway 7. So, uh, we are currently heading uh, 3... was it? 335. Uh, so we will have to make a slight adjustment, but not too bad. Let's go ahead and bring our speed down to 200, since again we will be descending and going faster than our normal. And speed in this game really is kind of up to uh, the pilot's discretion. Um, it's not really something they just tell you, um, and that's mostly what it is in real life too. Uh, they'll tell you, um, you know, just dead to descend to however many feet. Uh, they'll at least say like uh, 250 or above or 250 or lower or something like that uh, but for the most part they'll just um, they'll just tell you you know at your discretion so Frontier Flight 3, Fort 1 Contact at the no contact on one to Fort Point 4 one, two, four, point four, four, frontier, flight three, four, one. There we go, switch, contact. Jackson built approach, frontier, flight three, four, one, is out of 7,300, four, 1,900. Frontier, flight three, four, one, Jackson built approach, roger, altimeter two, niner, niner, two. All right, 
Looks like we're going through some clouds here. Holding pretty steady at uh, 245 knots. Uh, I do want to slow that down just a bit. So 22% seemed to work for us last time. So we'll go ahead and go around there uh, this time. Just to, to slow us up a little bit. Not enough to detain our flight, uh, but just enough to, to slow us down just a little bit. since we're going down, so I'll do 36. Perfect. Now, the auto throttle in this game is really kind of weird because uh, when you turn the autopilot off, the autopilot doesn't disengage the uh, auto throttle. So you could land, turn all the autopilot stuff off, like heading and altitude and all that. However, <laughs> as from uh, personal experience, you, uh, you still have to turn the auto throttle on because if you have it set at 200 knots, it will keep you at 200 knots after you land. Frontier flight 341. Three, right. 345, there we go. We're at currently about 3,000 feet. We do have our uh, speed brake armed here. Uh, that's nothing to be too concerned about. We can actually probably take that off now. Um, we're, we're close enough to what I wanted. So, uh, not too much longer here, folks. Um, looks like they're going to bring us in. Uh, on this runway here. Don't know if you can see it all that well. But they said ILS runways. So the ILS runway would be this one right here. I don't see another runway this way, and they said seven. And this would be... Ah, this is runway seven. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, we're still heading three, five. Um, so three, five, zero. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll probably make a... We're downwind right now. Or actually, uh, no, we're... We're crosswind. Or base leg. Yeah, base leg. Um, yeah, they'll probably tell us to turn any second now. To get us lined up with the runway here. So, uh, so that actually wasn't our airport. Uh, this is our airport right over here. We still have about 20 miles to go, which I don't know why they told us um, to go down so low on such a high distance out. But 
because that will tell us uh, what the approach is. So, runway 7, 110.7. One, one, so, uh, what we're going to do from here is go to our nav 1, and we're going to switch to 110.7. One, one, So we're going to go ahead and stand by on that. Now from here, uh, we want to make sure that we can hear the Morse code that's coming out of the uh, localizer so that we can lock onto it. And there it is. So we can turn that on, or off rather, so we don't hear the annoying Morse code anymore. And from here, uh, it's pretty simple. Actually, we can hit this approach button and the plane will do the rest. So, uh, basically what we're waiting for is to intersect the uh, ILS capture here. So, we're still a little bit, little bit off ways, uh, but it should be turning before too long. And you'll see this heading bug adjustment uh, go away as soon as uh, we lock on to the frequency. So. Uh, we will lock on to it because we did hear the uh, Morse code coming out of it. So now I'm just waiting to see uh, how long it takes until we uh, actually do lock on to it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and tune to tower. Jacksonville Tower, Frontier Flight 341 is 16 miles southwest inbound ILS, runway 7 approach. Frontier Flight 341. Straight in. Alright, perfect. Runway 7, altimeter 2, 992. Make straight in, runway 7, frontier flight 3, Oh, and... Oh, maybe. Thought we were turning here. Uh, not quite yet. So, let's go ahead and slow down to... Uh, 190. It won't be too terrible, because we're still... Uh, above that red uh, stall zone speed. And there we go. Looks like our plane is turning towards the localizer, which means we are locked on for runaway 7, which is what we want. Now we do have this indicator here. Uh, below GS. Uh, basically what that means is it's uh, we're below the glide slope. So uh, there's a certain slope that is optimal for uh, planes to come in when they're landing. Um, and if you're above, that's a problem because uh, you want to run into it. So if you're above it, you're not going to run into it. But if you're below it, that's going to be your perfect optimal uh, slope that you need to be on to uh, properly land the plane. So it's always better to be below the glide slope rather than above it because you'll still run into it if you're below it. So we do have the runway in sight here. We do have the Pappy lights uh, on a visual. We are 
Uh, four red, it looks like. You can see them right here. Uh, which is perfect, uh, as expected, because we are below the glide slope. So, uh, perfect Pappy lights are two red and two white. Uh, two, or four white means you're too high. Two red, or, or four red means you are too low. So, uh, you want two and two on each, and pretty soon we should see the plane dip down here uh, on approach, and we should hit that glide slope, and that should go away. Uh, I am, however, um, I'll wait on the speed. So, we haven't dipped down yet. Clear the land. Alright. And there we go, there's the dip. Alright, so, uh, it's pretty much easy sailing from here. Just, uh, control your speed. I'm gonna go down to 180, or actually, you know what, 175. So that'll still put us way above the stall speed. Um, and plus it won't take as long to uh, slow down. So we're going to go ahead and set our flaps to 5. And we'll go ahead and put our gear down because it's yelling at us. And we have 3 green. Perfect. So at this point we are ready to land. Now we do have reverse thrust on here and we do have our uh, brakes set to max. Um, so we will be using those and as well as our reverse thrust which won't take us very long to uh, slow down at all. So uh, I'll wait till about the runway gets to about the threshold here to turn the speed off because you do still want to maintain a, a constant speed but you don't want to uh, <laughs> you don't want to overshoot the runway so right about now uh, yeah right about now is when I turn it off and I turn the rest of this uh, autopilot off here in just a second when we touch down rather just before we touch down so shift backslash is the um, speed brakes so they are armed now they will automatically go up so and down Don't see. so here's our brakes and reverse thrust Looks like we're gonna have plenty of time. Frontier flight three four one. Turn next. Right. So there we go. And we're gonna exit on the next taxiway. Perfect center line as expected, uh, because we did have that ILS locked on. The speed was great. Um, so yep, we're just gonna go ahead and taxi off to the next. Uh, taxiway here, which is going to be right here, on to, looks like, golf. Yes. Taxi on to golf. Frontier flight 3. I am. Airport information. Yankee And we're just going to hold short right here. They'll tell us to contact ground. Tower. Contact ground, 1 to 1.9. Got it. 1 to 1.9, Fort Frontier, Flight 3, Fort 1. Ground. Alright, ground. Where are we going? Taxi to gates. Taxi to ground. Frontier, Flight 3, Fort 1. Taxi to the gate. Frontier, Flight 3, Fort 1. Taxi to gate. Golf 1 6 via taxiway. Golf Alpha Hotel. Golf Alpha Hotel. Now the only thing is, where is Hotel? So let's see. Is it this way? I don't believe it's that way. 
Actually, it might. Is that hotel down there? No, so it's got to be uh, going right. So, uh, Alpha, we're going to turn right on Alpha. Down to Hotel. And put our flaps back up. Because we don't need those anymore. center line as much as possible, which looks like it's good right about a little bit further, right about there. So we want to taxi down to Hotel, which is going to be our next taxiway. So uh, we're going to turn left on Hotel and then we're uh, we're done. We, uh, we made it to Jacksonville, everybody. So. Uh, Thank you for flying, uh, uh, whatever airway this is. Uh, it's my first day, I forgot what, uh, whatever my airline this is. But thanks for flying with us, and uh, we hope to see you next time. So what I did was, uh, just for the realism, I turned on uh, Progressive Taxi so we could uh, go directly to the gate that they told us, which is Golf 1-6. Um, so, yep, here we go. Looks like we're going to be going right over here.
here we uh, got a little bit of squirrely things going on with this taxiway. Uh, so I'm just going to cut right on through here. There's nobody behind me or beside me or anything like that. So, And they would not do this in real life. Uh, they would not make so many hard turns. So it looks like our gate is right over here to the left. Be in there shortly. Uh, we do want to remind all passengers to keep your seatbelts fastened since we are still on an active taxiway. Uh, as soon as we get to the gate and say we can, uh, you can unbuckle your seatbelts, then you can do so. So right here, I'm gonna try to make this as accurate as possible since we do have to at least try to line up with the uh, with the gate here so it looks like it won't be too bad yeah there we go just a little bit further <laughs> Alright, and break, let's go ahead and shut everything off from here, there we go, alright, those are going down, uh, everything up here should be off, off, off those are. You can unbuckle your seatbelt and uh, yeah. Oh, but here's what I was talking about earlier with the uh, stall speeds. Uh, so that's what that looks like. Um, so yeah, pretty much we uh, open the door. Alright. And we catch the jetway. Or maybe not. Okay. Uh, well, welcome to Jacksonville, everybody.